Hello and welcome to Underdog Physics. Today we'll be looking at an OCR A-level practical called using non-omic devices as sensors. Right, there's lots of equipment needed for this practical, so I'll run through them as and when we need them. Uh, for now, we'll start with the thermistor because I've got a box of ice and it's melting. Actually, I'm only going to do the thermistor practical, you lazy little gremlins. So as you probably already know, thermistors and LDRs are kinds of resistors. So our sensor circuits are going to be based on the potential divider circuit. Here's how I've reminded myself of it, but here's a slightly clearer version. Now, our instruction sheet asks us to make a sensor circuit which increases the voltage output when the thermistor increases in temperature. Now, I can't remember which way up or down it goes, so I'm going to remind myself. Here's my thermistor, all plugged up to a multimeter, and I'm going to warm it up by, oh wait, no, actually, I'm going to turn it on first. Here's my thermistor, plugged up to a multimeter, it should be resistance. And I'm going to heat it up just by squashing it between my fingers, because I know that's going to be slightly warmer than the air around. Right, so now that I know when the temperature increases, the resistance goes down. Bosh. That will help me figure out my potential divider circuit for later. The practical sheet asks us to calibrate the sensor for temperatures of 0 degrees C and 100 degrees C. Since the beginning of this video, uh, most of my ice has melted, but luckily there's still some left floating in the top. Which is good, because it means I have an ice-water mixture, which I know is going to be pretty much 0 degrees C. So I've popped in my thermistor and set up my sensor as shown in the diagram. All that's left to do is to take a reading. Now we'll just uh, boil the kettle to get that 100 degrees C water. Oh yeah! With our water now bubbling away merrily at 100 degrees C, I can take my second calibration reading. So, uh, this is a bit awkward. I forgot about the whole water conducting electricity thing, so uh, my readings are wrong. But, I have the time to redo them. In order to go around this, uh, rather inconvenient loophole, shall we say. I recommend, just before you take your reading, take it out. And for our final reading of the ambient room temperature, I'm just going to leave it to hang out in the air. Alright, I hope that's been helpful. Thanks for watching and feel free to subscribe.